Hi, that would be you, Pink. Staff- Hi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're, we're, we're staff members of LED Awaken and also the f- owners over here. So, hello. Hello. Zeno. Hey, String. Honey Blossom. I think that's what you're wanting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I was asking you yeah, to yeah. rat off your names. <laughs> but hey, that's okay. We're on the sand. It's no big deal. We'll, yeah. get, we'll get sand up or crack of our ass somehow. It don't matter. It's no big deal. Yeah. Between you two. <laughs> So, so what? What's, so what's we doing? So, so what got you guys in a VR to begin with? <laughs> Actually, it's, it's kind of funny with for them. me. It was just random YouTube videos. I'm like, what's funny today? Hmm. What's on? And then I was finding like people doing pranks in VR, scaring people and whatever. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna follow down this rabbit hole. And I started finding a bunch of. Uh, people streaming. I'm like, I'm going to do that. I've been wanting to get into VR for, for years. I'm going to finally do it. And that's how I got into VR. And then everything else just kind of happened after that. Everything fell into place. Hmm. What about the rest of you? What about you, Blossom? Yeah, what about you, Blossom? Thing, um, I would always see these videos and all these like things going on with like VR chat. Um, it was like, what? I don't even remember when that first Oculus headset came out. I had that for a very long time, and that's what I would use. <laughs> was it was it the CB one? No, it was a Oculus Rift something. Like Fucking that. phone. Oh, gotcha. Oh, <laughs> what I first got into VR, I was. I was pushed by a He was like, yo, you know, you can be a furry in this virtual world. And I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> sure, I guess we'll try it. <laughs> now we're here. <laughs> Fair enough. And yeah. then I think at the time, I think, I don't know. <laughs> when I first joined VR, it wasn't as like big as it is now that I would, I, I think it is now. Because a lot back then, there wasn't like a whole lot of like clubbing and all that shit in VR. So. No, there wasn't a whole lot of that stuff then. It was very infantile. <clears throat> it was, it and was like somebody just just sucking around in worlds and like just laughs and giggles, whatever. <laughs> yeah, somebody let the dogs out again, and this is what happened. See, I told you you should never <laughs> let them out because they chased my ass. You know this, right? <laughs> so, what? How did LED Awaken start? Um, well, um, kind of a lot of things going on. I like how they yeah, look at each I other mean, like, What? You talking to me or them? I don't, I'm confused. It's funny, but it's okay. This is a whole question for them because I didn't come around to the picture until later. So, okay. Well, I used to be a staff member to this other club, and it was just so. Um, it was always every day, every day, every day, and then I ended up just getting out of it for a while, and then I ended up wanting to start my own, started my own with an other old co-founder. Um, we would do it, what was it, every, every day? I then think it was, like... yeah, every day, and then we moved back to, like, every week. It was just, we were t- tired mm-hmm. of the old, um... Because I was part of the same club. I was tired of um, every day seeing what was going on around that. And then when uh, Honey wanted to start her own club, I was like, I'll join. I'm going to let's build this correctly how we've been complaining. Let's do this right. Hmm. And that's kind of where it all started. We brought some of the DJs over from the other club just because they wanted a fresh start as well. It kind of every day kind of just built more and more new DJ, new DJs coming around, more people hanging out. Hmm. So where uh, where do you see yourself going? Where where do you want it to be? Hmm. Um, That's a tough I... one. We're just kind of going day by day, kind of a thing, seeing where it goes. 
I mean, when I came onto the staff team, I kind of been trying to put out a lot more, um, not as like smaller pop up events like you see here and there now. Now we like to make like you know really big events now. Like since our Valentine's Day one, that one was a really good one. There was also our was it last weekend that happened? That one? Uh, yeah. Just with with Letty, yeah, that one. Yes, yes, yes. And then there was also. Um, and a couple other big events like our Halloween festival and all that stuff where we try to like bring on some big names from the VR scene, like, I don't know, like Fantex or from the furry scene as well, like just Call Me Letty or DJ Amiot and all of them. So, okay. Uh, what sets you guys apart from the, all, all the other clubs here in VR chat? Hmm. I guess we try to spread good vibes, make sure everyone's Whoops. having a good time. As, at least as much as we can. Okay. So, instead of just, like, pushing DJs, this is what kind of music we do. We kind of, like, anyone who wants to play, we're open for you to play. We try to promote good vibes and just have everyone have fun. Okay. Everyone's there to listen to music and hang out. So Ignore why not my dumb and, tracking. And button. shake your <laughs> ass like you got a pair, right? <laughs> <laughs> I ignore my dying I mean, tracking, but um, I think we also try to do a really good. Don't worry, folks. Of... He's a helicopter. He'll be landing next week right here at the same spot. <laughs> yes, 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 <laughs> yes. My base station is like the bug out sometimes, so I can't really control that. This, this He's happened all at over the place. Night. This happened at Vibe Night too. So, <laughs> um, hey, Lion, I think you I... forgot to let the air out of the hot balloon. You know what I mean? Oh God. <laughs> Looks really painful up there. Are you all right? Hell, <laughs> oh, you think I it's think... painful? Come down to my height. It's uh, it's bad. <laughs> Holy crap! You don't want me to actually say what it looks like from down here. <laughs> it looks like okay. Fuck it. It looks like he's trying to scratch hemorrhoids you can't get to. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> No offense, but, Pink. Um... I'm just, it's just what it looks like from way down here. At least I didn't say he was sticking his hands up his ass. At least we're not going that route. Okay. I also have some staff members that couldn't make it. Um, I'm streaming this for them as well so okay. they can give their input in. Of course. Really no problem. There. I'll be going back to... Let's see. All input is welcome. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Well, except for the helicopter up there. Um, <laughs> well, yeah, I got to think. Ah, I forgot what questions things. I was going to. I was going to. Who doesn't have that in VR? Come on. I mean, yeah. Yes. You cover but your think... trackers enough. Back egg, egg, oh, I got a question. I got a question. I got a question. I got a question for you, too. Okay, when you made the world that you were you first started with, you you just whoever and everything else where was your difficulties at and the one the scares that you think the idea hey this is going to work then when you get there you go oh shit it didn't work you know how it can be a bummer and stuff like that mm. where where's where your scares and your pluses and your lows and stuff like this when you first start you got started with your club well at the when time yeah, with the crashes. I don't know if you guys ever heard of all the that going around. Mm -hmm. We yeah. had to mm -hmm. deal with the crasher, like almost every event. We got to the point where we did it only invite plus, and it would suck. And we would have to watch people because they would pull out. Like at the time, there were uh, crash avatars as well, not just clients. They were also doing things with audio things that would cut the DJs short. Hmm. So we'd have to monitor we even had it was to the point where we had to get security in the front oh okay. we would have two people in the front um monitoring people who would come in they would check their avatar stats check them to see if they're good and then let them pass okay so does that happen gotcha. a lot so that's what we had to not anymore not so mm -hmm. okay we so that was the hard part the where... now yeah Okay, that's your hard part. Now, where where you were saying it was the hardest part 
where is your good part? Where do you, what's making it easier now compared to then is what I'm trying to get. Maybe, maybe I'm confusing okay. them. I do that a lot. Um, I guess now. Pink's landed, folks. Yeah. He'll be back in about an hour. He's still back. Oh, he is down. <laughs> Sorry, never mind. Hi, Pink. How you doing, buddy? Hello. Hello. Um, <laughs> I guess with the new updates to VR Chat, how they've limited oh. how um um people with cheats can't get on anymore. They can't crash worlds as much anymore. So that's kind of been phased okay. out in our or uh clubs you don't have to really worry about that and if so it's such a rare occasion it kind of it's not worth having staff try to check for that anymore i still have some stuff in the background to make sure nothing bad happens but it's not as bad as it yeah used to no be. we don't we, we don't like drama and stuff like that happening or like arguing and stuff on that sort. so we just have people moderate that mostly is what the main thing is okay yeah. Which we had had that happen yeah. once recently, but ever since then we've been good. So, yeah, it's a, there's always that odd occasion where somebody's mm -hmm. not being the best person. But it's VR chat; it's gonna happen. Yeah, of course, it might happen in VR. <laughs> hmm. More humans? We're humans? Oh so shit! People with, it... with with what you guys do in clubbing and in your experience, what would what what could change in VR chat? Or VR to make things easier on you. Mm. I think mm. optimization features are getting a little bit more up there. I mean, they're good now, but I would like them to be a little bit more, especially specifically worlds and stuff like that. Because mm. some of these worlds that you can like go to the club in is not really the best when you have like seventy plus people there. Mm. <laughs> so okay. that, that's why. That's why when. That's when, when I'm talking with them over, like, when we're about to host events, like, what would be the best world? Is this world optimized? How many people can this one hold? What's the, I don't know, what what do you think the lighting is going to look like and what the venue is, like, visually going to do for your audience that is going to show up there? Hmm. Okay. Okay. I got you on that. I can understand that. What about you two? You got, everybody's got their own opinion. Come on. I mean... Yeah, We're not fishing out the there. Street. I don't got no worm. <laughs> <laughs> um, Sorry, I'm an ass. This goes no down the deal. same thing um, Pink was saying about optimization. Having worlds okay. be able to almost enforce optimization. I don't know how that would be possible, okay. but it's kind of looking to the future if this is possible. I have like a limit. You can spawn in and you're very poor or whatever avatar. But you can't cross a line into the club unless you have a poor, better avatar. Which there's signs everywhere. You got to click saying, I'm in a poor, better avatar. But nobody really mm -hmm. is. So the ability to actually yeah. have that happen and keep that happening would be a big improvement, I would guess. Okay. Okay. I have a lot of clubs that are trying to do that. Instead of everyone running around trying to make sure everyone's in a poor, better avatar because then you less confrontation. And make it easier mm -hmm. on club owners. Okay, I can understand okay. that. What okay. a... That I makes got, sense. Um, hmm? I got something that one of our staff members said. They said to increase the world cap to like it be able to hold more people, but that goes along better with optimization too. Okay, that makes a lot yeah. of sense. That makes sense. Is because it... as our club starting to grow we're finding that we're probably gonna have to start hosting more instances than just the one instance now so okay that's yeah. very understandable i could see why you guys want optimization like that i've talked to a few different clubs of various types and that's something that comes up a lot optimization mm -hmm. a lot lot yeah big it time just helps with everybody especially if they don't have the best computer mm. in so yeah, we always. Oh, the, the dog home. got wet. What the hell did you leave him out in the rain? I heard that in the background. <laughs> he just shook his. His head. ears <laughs> fought. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised you. I'm just that. picking on you, boss. Oh, I can hear a lot. I listen to a lot of things, but it, I'm just giving you crap. But go ahead. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you. It's okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah. Uh... 
<laughs> um. <laughs> My, whoops. E can really put her in the gear. Well, I'm going to run in trouble for this one. Let the folks finish their sentences, Raptor. I know you're excited, but cool. You I just. know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we I'll be there in a minute. We try oh. to. <laughs> We try to at least help them with their settings because we see that we are yeah. implementing um, avatar optimization, how many people you can have around you, even the earmuff mode, which is good, especially if you're having conversation with someone who's right in front of you. You don't want to hear somebody else's conversation who's right across the other side of the room. You know, you know? Yeah. that's all good stuff that we try to teach people to use. Well, that's very nice. I got one. one. I got one. One. Sure. I got one. Okay. When you guys started your club, what advice would you give if you just say, this old fuck wants to go put up a club and everything else like this? What hints, and I'm not saying all of it, but the basic start, so it's not so much of going, well, okay, I'm just going to go out there and drown. I'll be over with, and there'd be no problem. No one worry about them no if you get my drift. What pointers would you give to somebody that really wants to stick their neck out and stick it out like you guys are doing? You're still sticking it out and not, you're not letting anything slow you down. You still, everybody's getting an idea, but what would you, what would you tell the people out there if they want to go think, this route? I think audience retention is really what you want to like keep it at because you want to make sure your events are still interesting with the lineup, the theme and all of that stuff. That's why when we do stuff, we have stuff like our little froggy car events, which a lot of people really like since we're the only club that does that. And then there's also, you know, our Valentine's or our Halloween stuff. I threw out the idea for a St. Patty's one with like a house theme to it, but we weren't able to do that because, um, yeah, I, can, I couldn't get the people that I wanted to DJ for that onto the thing, unfortunately, <laughs> since conventions and stuff like that. But, but yeah, oh, yeah, that's my biggest thing is just audience retention. That's why they keep coming back every single time. Okay. <laughs> okay. What about you? Um, what about you guys? For just starting out at um club, if you're going to just go for it, I would say mm -hmm. try to surround yourself with a lot of people that are in the community already. That can help you try, try to get people in. Or at least a few DJs, because a lot of DJs are really friendly. Get a few DJs on your list that some people already know. Start there. Okay. Have a few on the list. And just don't start fresh and just start grabbing people. Try to um, join the community. Grab people and see what comes of it. Don't okay. just, if you start fresh, you're, it's going to be hard to get off the ground. If you have people who are already in it and have other people around them, it makes it easier for you to get started and move towards the next steps. Okay. You can't just out of about... start a big event and have it continue on. Got to start slow. Oh, okay. You got to have people to get in because you're just a one name in a list of worlds. Yeah, <laughs> that's no shit. I also what, suggest what about you, boss? People who are. I would suggest having people who you trust and are close with to help you out, other than people who are just around you just because they see you're starting up something interesting and. Um, what is it? The cloud chasers is what they call them now? <laughs> yeah. People who are here with you that you trust and their close friends with always makes the environment more friendly and they even can help you out. All of our staff members are close friends and <laughs> here she is. <laughs> no, oh, Wyan. Hello. Wyan. Mm -hmm. We got somebody else, Wyan. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Go say hi. Wow. <laughs> Not oh, let me see. <laughs> nice to meet well, you. I but... don't want to call her. What do we call her? <laughs> I'm bad with names. You know this, right? It's Allie. Allie. I'm Allie. Yeah. <laughs> what? Well, you know what's weird? Mm -hmm. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Is that your real name or just uh, the name you come it... up with? 
It's a nickname for my real name. Okay. Because when you sit, wait a minute, hold up, hold the bus. Sorry, folks, don't mean to fuck this up. Probably going to anyhow. Um, when you say Allie like that, it reminds me of my oldest daughter. Her name is Allison, and everybody called her Al or Allie. That's my full name, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was just checking. Mm. Okay, back to the thing. Back to so, the row on the boat out to the ocean. Now that we have <clears throat> okay. the whole crew, there was a question I w- would like to pose as like a, what's the difference between VR culture and IRL? That you've that I, we've all noticed as like a, a way to start the conversation, and then we'll take a word. <laughs> yeah, there's a VR lot. Our culture oh, I mean... is a little bit cheaper. <laughs> it's a bit. Wild, all, like, Are you sure? <laughs> as an owner, <laughs> <yes>. <clears throat> hmm? sorry. As an owner of a VR club, it is significant significantly cheaper to get started. <laughs> Okay. Oh yeah. Instead of trying to get a venue and all that, but it is expensive to get into VR. Like if you are a goer, a, a uh, club goer in real life, it can be pretty cheap, mm. but it can add up over time. Or you can pay a thousand dollars. VR, like where it's a lot of money, where, where it's a lot of money, <laughs> time, but it's free from then on. So it's kind of that'd be one difference where it could be cheaper for a owner but expensive for just somebody who's just wanting to try it once. Hmm. Okay. What the rest of you think about I know the whole thing? That makes sense. I feel like, also, um, VR is a lot better to help discover these other DJs that, you know, are just down there, you know, not like those DJs that you see, like, in IRL that you probably already heard of and stuff like that. And, you know, it's a lot of new faces and stuff like that. And now you'll get hype about them every time you see them because now you know they are and they're good. Yeah, kind of like the new underground scene. Also the, yeah. Yeah. Also the comfort um, level. You can be at home in your comfortable space, but actually socialize and hear new music. And also, if there's somebody I don't like, I could just the... block them. <laughs> yeah, there's yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yeah. That'd be really one an introvert being in a VR chat club scene is a lot safer for my mindset and is a, a lot more enjoyable. Don't okay. have to deal with the crowds or anything like that. Understandable. I got, I got a question for all four of you. Since you've done a club thing in here, have you ever, knowing you're all probably up the legal age, I hope so, or I'm in trouble. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> Have you ever no, gone to a rave? Have you ever gone to a rave? A real, true, flat-out rave? IRL, yes. not. <clears throat> in, real, yeah. in real life. In real life. Yes. I've been to yes. concerts, but not a rave, which I want to do eventually as well. <laughs> hmm. That's good. So It's, it's something to shoot for. I've of... done one. I've done one, and it was so fucking nice. held in Nevada. Oh, that I enjoyed going mm-hmm. to. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Where, did you, well, 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 where did you say you're from? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where did you say? I'm from California, but we would head up to Nevada because uh, we would get heard of what like part? fear of sub rays. What part? California. I know Northern I'm not California. No, no, no. Sacramento. What part of Nevada? Not California. <laughs> Nevada. What of part Nevada. were you going Nevada. Mm, of Nevada? That, that helps. Wow, they don't have towns. They just got Nevada. It's just one big population. Uh, it's fucked. He's, he's okay, asking, I got you. No problem. He's, he's, he's from Nevada. <laughs> That's why he's asking. I'm, he's okay. from yeah, yeah. Nevada. Well, That's what I was it, asking. Me and, me and my boyfriend would probably go out to the desert and outside of Las Vegas and stuff like that because there'd be like raves out there and stuff like that. So, oh, Okay. I've never been to one of there, so I was just curious. I've only been to one, and yeah. man, what a nightmare. It bounced six <laughs> times before it finally stopped. <laughs> everybody would knew where it was nuts i just got here where and the hell is everybody going next spot and i'm and talking really it was it bounced from big buildings yeah. to big buildings and the reason for it they were getting over packed and they couldn't get uh, them all in and when you went to the next one the dj that was at the other one you're going oh wait a minute that's not the same guy he already had it planned out and the only way you could do it is somebody told you, hey, you got to go so-and-so street if you're already there. The people that were stuck outside, they were screwed. 
they didn't go nowhere because they went out the back way and not the original way they come in and that's the way they did it was oh it was fun i had a blast i was blitzed off my ass but what the fuck i know i don't think i got to i don't think i got to the fourth one at all might have i don't remember it because when i woke up i was at home so <clears throat> it's one of those Fair enough. And then in terms of other IRL events, like I've attended, I've been to Beyond Wonderland. That was last year. That one was really good. Hmm. Um, I'll be at Project Glow this year for, uh, yeah, for DJing with the Discovery Project there. So, yeah, or at least I have. So they're, they're, they're just going to watch the live thing. I'll just yeah, send it to them. <laughs> so, yeah, so. Okay. Other than that, oh, not in clubbing, but there's, you know, nightclubs and stuff like that. They're easy to forget names. <laughs> That's fair. For most of them. Oh. 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 The Where, the fuck, <laughs> Where the fuck did he go then? There goes Get the out of the water! There's sharks <laughs> out there. I found them just a week ago, but that don't mean they ain't gonna eat your ass now. <laughs> so, what, co- what made you guys want to get into the club scene in general? Like, what lured you to it? Well, personally for me, I followed. (laughs) (laughs) What, Allie? What'd you do? You got dragged into it? What what the hell? They wrap rope around you and throw you in and go, Okay, Billy, pull the truck in. She's coming through. Okay, I got you. No problem. I had a friend I met online a long time ago. It's back now. You're good. It does that. Yeah, it does that. Um, There was a friend I met a long time ago that... uh, moved n- close by to me and he got me into vr chat and then he had a mutual friend who started a club which is how i met honey and then she decided to make hers and so i just got kind of thrown into the fray because all my friends had clubs <laughs> oh okay you know that saying line hmm? it's who you know right yeah it's who you know right you know not what you, you know. got them right no hmm. that's right what about what about you? Go a lot further. You? What who you know that? Mm-hmm. What about the rest of you? Well, they well they basically said what I was gonna say. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, used okay. Used to attend, used to staff, then got tired of that. Then I started my own because I wanted things to be run differently, to be run better. Okay. And now they're being run even better. So. <laughs> I followed okay, in cool. the DJ. Before they started DJing, I knew them, and they started DJing for the same club. So I got drug into it and just continued to attend. Okay. I've been DJing for five yeah. years. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. That's impressive. So, we're, uh, I'm just... Wait a minute. I'm just curious, Pink. Is your throat sore? Oh, that not that kind throat. of... Oh, my bad. Oh, Never no. mind. I'm, lost. I'm being a smart oh, ass. I'm... I, <laughs> Instead of DJing, he's hit. No, no, no. You're instead of playing music, you're singing at them. Is what I was getting at. Yeah. No, 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 no. no, no, Singing for five years. (laughs) Okay, I'm just being a shit. Singing for five years. (laughs) I've I've recorded vocals sometimes, but like not intense enough for my voice to be like well done in there. Other, it's mostly like one-liners right before a drop or something like that. Okay. You know, oh, he's not a bathroom singer. He's not a bathroom singer. No, no, I, I am a bathroom singer. It's just that I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't I'm not the best singer. <laughs> oh my God. I bring it up and they all go, ah, oh, shit. He's been peeking in the window, you asshole. Okay, I got you. But I, I can't get to the window. I'm too short. No, the can't bathroom, the, the shower has like concrete walls around it so no one can hear it. Oh, oh okay. That makes sense. Okay. Oh boy. Thank you guys for your time. We do definitely appreciate you showing up. Yes. And talking with us. We appreciate yeah. so much. Okay. And maybe down the road. No problem. Maybe down the road and stuff like this. We'll bump heads with you again. It might be a month, maybe sure. two months down the road. Something might come up yeah. that hey, we know somebody, blah blah blah. We're gonna bring you back together. Just the way you are and everything else like this and see what direction it rides. Yeah. Is there anything you guys want to plug? We have no problem. Plug out. Hmm. I guess the club. 
the lady yeah. awake and well, that'd help. Like, the main thing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that would be her, yeah. 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 We have no good way to do that, do we? <laughs> Please have the no, Discord. No, uh, it's not. Yeah, we only have the Discord. Um, I could send it to you. The yeah. world is barely going to get started on because we actually yeah. had a talk party <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> Okay. Yes, we we had a whole like we had a whole sit down like meeting thing like about getting our own style. world. <laughs> yeah. With slideshow. Speak of the minds is <laughs> you're trying to say that it was the speak of the minds and try to th pick everybody's mind together. I got gotcha. you. I don't know. God, I wish that boy quit climbing trees. <laughs> Jesus Christ, <laughs> stay out of the trees, man. There's no coconuts up there. They're all down. Well, oh, no, they're in the water, but never mind. <laughs> Well, <laughs> everything so. that that you wish to be plugged, just send it my way, and I'll put it in the description below for everyone to read. Be no big deal. Okay. Whether that yeah, be yeah. if you have Thank any you. DJ Hi. things for people to follow, your club, anything like that, send it my way. I'll put it right down below for the people to follow. Uh, yep. No worries. Yep. Thank you. Oh, yeah, my rave community. Okay, I have the, my Discord that points to where all the parties are. So. <laughs> okay. Well, you don't want to give that to yeah. everybody. Oh, God, you'll never get in the door. You'll be standing out there going, D -d 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 is, the is the guy here? I don't know. The place is booked. Well, let's go to the other one and say, hey, oh, sorry, we left. <laughs> Thanks, everybody, for watching. Have a good rest Bye. of your day. Yeah. Yeah. Bye. Night. Whatever you do, don't tell mom, because she's going to get your ass. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>